Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Unfortunately, it turns out that I have had to do a uh, post commentary on this and uh, also on episode 39 that's coming up because um, episode 39 is already recorded and uh, even my microphone is broken, which would be very unfortunate. All my sound levels are still terrible, and so you couldn't really properly hear me whilst I was uh, editing this. Couldn't hear my commentary, so I'm doing a post-commentary on this. And again, I'm hoping that you won't be able to hear my voice of the original commentary uh, below my the sound of my voice talking now. So, uh... That's what's going on, and uh, I I don't really know what's happening on screen right now. I guess I decided to just uh, stand here. Oh yes, yes, I remember. Right, there's a room that you go into uh, which has uh, two of those uh, trapdoor things, and uh, past that room, inside that room, are two more of those trapdoor things. Now, you don't go through those two extra ones, but you go through the two original trapdoors, and uh, one of them leads to this uh, staircase. Um, the staircase, uh, as you can see, leads down to here, and that's how you get to here. If you're playing along with me... Uh, which I'm now kind of finding unlikely, but never mind. Uh, I guess I'll comment more about that later. Anyway, if you're playing along with me, that's how you get here, and I'm sure you'll be able to check the map. And that will help you to figure out what's going on here. Um, I've, or I hope I have at this point, certainly at some point during this episode, I uh, gave my characters... Uh, some some new equipment, uh, uh, mostly Cecil and uh, Kane, but uh, I'll be showing uh, their new equipment off later. But uh, I actually left this cave and uh, when then looked at the strategy guide and find out found out uh, what I needed to still do in this cave, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I left the cave, um, because I was running out of equipment, and I went and bought some more stuff, including lots of Phoenix Downs, and, uh, high potions, and then came back in here again, uh, in between, uh, episode recordings, Unfortunately, I couldn't find anywhere that sells ether or dry ether. Admittedly, I didn't look in every town. Uh, there might be somewhere where it's available, and I just don't know. But I uh, also bought some extra armor too, and you'll uh, see that on screen at some point. The problem with doing post-commentary is I'm probably going to have a lot of places here where I don't know why... I've, I decided that my character should suddenly stand still for a few minutes because when I did the original non-post commentary I was spending that time talking about something but I, I don't remember what and I am very annoyed that I have had to record more commentary on this but it really had to be done it was that or silence. And hopefully everything's in sync. I've done my best to keep it in sync, but if it's not, well, uh, I don't care about this video, this, this game enough to do more work on this episode, even if I could, which I probably can't because I've got it saved past the, uh, the end of this episode, so... I've, uh, I've turned up the microphone volume, which is helpfully going to help the situation, but I don't know how loud my post commentary is going to be because of that. It will either be too quiet, or um, because the microphone is broken, or too loud because I've changed the levels, or just right 
because I've changed levels, so... There we go. Anyway, I really apologise if you can hear my voice quietly um, underneath this. I don't think you can. You couldn't in the last episode where I did post commentary, but... So, yeah, I've skipped some battles. You know what I do. And uh, it seems that that trap draw was just there to uh, annoy me. So, I think at this point on screen, I was explaining what I've already explained to you about uh, going and buying new items. It seems there's more than one way to sort these. Like, you can sort them into weapons at the top and other types of items at the bottom, for example. Yeah, uh, looking at this, it looks like they're, they're pretty much in sync. So, uh, so these levels are at now. Most of them are almost at level 50, which is good. Um... I might as well spend a minute or two talking about side quests. Alright, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't care about side quests if they lead me into another dungeon. If I don't have to go into another dungeon in order to complete the side quests, then, you know, great. I won't. But, yeah, if I'm going to be going into another dungeon and basically doing what I'm doing here... Uh, but in another place, then, uh, I'm, I'm not interested in doing it. Uh, it seems there's some slowdown here, and I can't work out why that happened. It might mess up the audio sync a little bit. I'm not sure. Hopefully only by a few seconds, but yeah, the, uh, it seemed to uh, have slowed down, and then the slowdown stopped. And uh, I know that I didn't have... I know I had plenty of space in my hard drive, so... I don't know what caused it. I would assume that something was uh, was trying to load. Uh, but I didn't really want to load. And didn't really know anything about. Anyway... Uh, I interrupted myself. Uh, as I'm saying, um, I'm, I'm still tired of this game. I'm going to finish it. But I'm not really, I'm not really a completionist. And whether uh, it's disappointing or it's not. Or you just don't care. I'm not going to go into any optional dungeons. Even if I could have gotten something really useful there. Because... I want this to be over. So yeah, Holy is uh, is something that we can't. We don't seem to have a magic character that knows Holy. So uh, a sword that causes Holy is pretty useful because some things are weak to it, and. Uh, so I, I gave that eventually to Cecil, once I found out that it's Cecil who can, uh, who can use them. One of the problems with uh, my music editing software, uh, Audacity, is that it, it, uh, it combines together the uh, audio from the game and uh, the audio from live commentary, as it were, as opposed to post commentary. It combines them together whether you want it to or not. And though there's no way really to separate those out once they've been uh, combined together, which means I can't change the sound separately. So what would be ideal is if the uh, sound editing software that I had would uh, separate the two out into two tracks, and uh, that would mean that I could change the level 
of the volume on the individual tracks to make my commentary uh, louder and uh, the music from the game quieter, but uh, there's no way to do that. Now, if my voice is too loud, because at the moment I've got my uh, my microphone on 100% uh, with a, uh, a sound boost as well to make it louder, then um, just uh, just turn the sound down. I guess seems sort of obvious, but yeah, that's what you should do. And uh, I know this is boring to look at, I guess I was talking about something here for a bit. And these trapdoors really do look sinister, don't they? Um, I think that uh, a lot of the creatures in this cave are pretty sinister, actually. Um, the reason why I don't like doing those commentary is I like my, to be stating the feelings but, and, uh, and responses that I have to the game whilst I'm actually in the game. So this is just kind of my second-hand thoughts and not, uh, my deeply considered thoughts and not, uh, my natural reaction to, uh, what's going on. Not my first reaction. So, I think how much gear you drop depends on how quickly you uh, you escape. So, if they have time to attack you, then you you drop more gear. And if they have time to hurt you a lot, you drop more gill. Um, so yeah, I now have a throwing thing that causes... Well, I'm not going to say what it causes, because I don't remember what it causes. But basically, I have a more powerful throwing thing that Eds can throw now. And that's what I was showing off just then. See, I got attacked twice there. Well, I think I got attacked twice, I might have gone and attacked once, and I wasn't really paying attention to how many times I was attacked. But, I think I got attacked once, and, uh, uh twice, sorry, and because of that, I lost, uh, six-something gill, instead of, I don't know, one-something gill. And, uh, yeah, this is another trapdoor that exists to annoy me, since there's nothing beyond it. Apparently I decided to fight these things, and, uh, but I didn't shirt off, it seems. Ah, well. The reason when I, why I'm talking when I, I clearly don't actually have that much to say is I don't want you to hear my voice on the original commentary very, very quietly in the background. I don't know why, I, I seriously don't know why these trapdoors are here unless they're here to just give you another enemy to fight. I mean, there's so many of them. If there were fewer, you know, I would be able to understand why they're here, but they're not. Alright, forgive me if I'm repeating myself, but I'm looking for something to say here. Uh, those yellow yeah, dragons sometimes come out with mystery eggs as well. They are quite rare, but uh, they do come out. And it turns out that the dragon doesn't actually do more um, does it actually do more damage than 
um, the strongest non summoning summon magical attacks. So there wasn't actually that much point in me using it, but I didn't realize that at the time. And I could sort of tell at this point that my characters were getting to a higher level and getting more powerful because uh, they defeated the dragon more easily. Um, it seems that originally I was going to end the episode here, and I meant to cut out uh, my my speech saying, you know, I'm ending the episode here, uh, see you next time. But I forgot to cut that out, apparently. But that shouldn't matter now, because you're hearing post-commentary, so who cares? Editing it was quite difficult, because I wasn't... Uh, I, I was editing it according to what I could hear, but it was sometimes difficult to make out what I was saying, for reasons that I've already discussed. Um, I was very annoyed when I was editing this. I was annoyed that the sound hadn't worked, and uh, I think that didn't help. That made me sort of skip through sections instead of looking carefully at what needed editing and what didn't. I really hate how large this cave is and uh, well since I have the opportunity I might as well talk about the game and I am going to be complaining here. Yeah, I've been warned, but I feel I, I kind of have the right to my opinion, and, well, I just intend to state it, so, uh, here we go. I, comparing this to Final Fantasy VI, or Final Fantasy X, but Final Fantasy VI is the one that I, uh, actually did Let's Play of, or, indeed, uh, Final Fantasy VII. Those are some of the other games i played. This is, compared to them, not a very good game. Um, the, the backgrounds uh, get repetitive. There's not a lot of difference between one cave and the next cave, really. Um, I know this one has lava, I guess, and those, those cracks where you can see lava underneath, but both, most of the environments are pretty basic and pretty similar to each other. The plot's not great, the characters aren't very uh, nuanced and uh, two dimen uh, three dimensional. Uh, there's way too many random battles and just when you get to episode 30 something and you're already really sick of it, and you you can't be bothered to do any side quests at this point. The game's obviously done something wrong. It's not an awful game, but most of the things it's done are improvements from the uh, are improvements that have happened when it's gone on to the Nintendo DS. Like, there is no version that I I can't remember what it was for now. I think it was the, the Game Boy uh, had a very, a very repetitive battles because all you had to do was basically mash the same button, whereas now you need strategy. So that's an improvement, and the graphics have improved. I suppose the plot is better than the plot of Final Fantasy 3 and probably Final Fantasy 1 and 2 as well, although that, that doesn't mean that much. Uh, but uh, those are improvements. That, that does not make it a good game. That makes it a better game than previous games, and that's not the same thing. So, since I haven't shown off uh, at this point in the video the uh, 
new um, armor that I bought. I might as well tell you about it. I bought what I think is diamond helm and uh, diamond armor as well, and uh, that's that's basically very powerful armor that's proven to be very useful in this cave. And uh, so yeah, that's that's what I bought. Perhaps I should off in the next episode. I don't know. I cut out some bits because they were bits that I'd already explored, and I was just walking back upwards from the same territory that I'd walked down into. And we're nearing the end of the episode, and uh, just in case there's been um, the the audio has been out of sync. I am going to uh, end the episode uh, now, and uh, I will only say something if there's something interesting to say. Though one last thing I'll say is that Carl didn't look that useful, which is why I didn't uh, didn't put it on. It didn't keep it.